Um, uh, Lee celebrated the Mari Grease goal. Ha, 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 real <laughs> fan. Yeah, I did. I celebrate every goal against Arsenal because it's one day closer to him getting sacked. Yeah, and this is this is people like people that don't understand and grasp the mentality of wanting your team to lose. Yeah, really need to listen to what I'm about to say because it might go in your heads, right? If Arteta won that game last night, everyone would be hyping him. Oh my god, yes, we're in a top four race. This is brilliant. The players are brilliant. But then what happens when we play West Ham in a couple of weeks and we lose? And then what happens if we beat Southampton before the West Ham game? Oh my God, two in a row. Then we lose to West Ham. Then we've got Leeds away and we lose to them. Then we've got Man City coming up. Then we've got Tottenham coming up. What about that? So every single loss is a, a step closer to getting the football club back because all these irrelevant wins are exactly that. I said this to you the other week, Terry, when we were 10 unbeaten. Irrelevant runs are form that don't lead to a title charge. Irrelevant. Uh, do you know what's Irrelevant. crazy about it? Do you know what's crazy football club, third biggest club in the country, and we're acting like Barnet. Do you know what's yeah, mad stop, about it? As stop as hyping well. up irrelevant runs, man. Do you know what's mad about it as well? I was looking at your away results in the Premier League this year. You played five, <laughs> six, you played eight games, lost five of them <laughs> yeah. as, an, as, as an example. And again, these things just seem to be getting consistently ignored. Now, it was looking good up until the international break. You'd won, you'd lost the first two, but then you'd, you'd one, two, and you drawn one against Brighton. But it was always about, well, what are you going to do after that? And your next run of game, I mean, your festive period. I said this a few, I said this a, before. I said this in a show recently. I can't remember what show it was. And I was like, I think your favourites, outright favourites in like, three or four games in your festive period. And some of them are like 50-50. And again, Gunas, how are we 50-50 against uh, West Ham and against Leeds and against... West Ham are beaters. I, I literally said that Everton would be a bank of how bad they're playing. But I can. I think he'll beat Southampton. I think West Ham, they've got an amazing opportunity to beat you because they've been great. Away at Leeds, if you're defending like that. I mean, they're, Leeds are different because Leeds are so open. I think you'll beat them as an example. I think um, that would be a draw, if I'm honest. Norwich will be a win. I think yeah. the way Wolves are playing, Wolves right now are so hard to break down and they yeah. attack well. Yeah, that would be a draw if we're I, lucky. I think, yeah, you know, and then you've got Man City on New Year's Day. I mean, that's going to start your new year off. Happy New um, Year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be mad. And again, and, and someone said, where, where do you think Arsenal will finish? I think by Jan 2nd, Arsenal will be between 7th and 8th, but they will be about six or seven points away from the top four. Uh, and that'll be that'll be done and over by there. Not mathematically, but realistically, that'll be done and over. And I'll be no, I, I, I actually predicted eight. 11 points out of the eight games throughout January and then that Man City game. Yeah, we've yeah. got eight games in total. Right? I predicted 11 points. We've played two. We've got nil point. <laughs> Uh, again, and I was getting abused. So oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Man, 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 man. Well, zero points out of two, mate. Yeah, he's got six games to find 11 points and then I'm bang on. One of my members here, uh, Gunner King, good guy, Gunner King, uh, says, uh, sorry, pal, you seem like a nice guy, Lee, but that's shameless. I think about celebrating your team sort of conceding and losing. How's it shameless? How is it shameless? Right, so let's all jump up and down and celebrate that when we win, that's going to keep him here when we don't want him here. So why would we do that? But then goals against, I'll give an example, Lukaku. We all knew he was going to score against us. I was sitting there eating popcorn laughing because we knew it was coming. Ronaldo, we knew he was going to score against us. We've seen this story a million times before. Every single loss is a closer to him getting out the door. Yeah, so I want us to get pammed every week, mate. And if people don't like it, tough. Because I ain't ashamed to say it. This is my football club as well, mate, as well as everyone else's. Yeah, and I'll, I'll support my team how I want to, because guess what? Yeah, outside the ground, it doesn't say Arteta Football Club. Doesn't say Stan Kroenke Football Club. It says Arsenal Football Club. Yeah, and the club is bigger than any manager, any paid employee. And I think the only person that is actually at this club that was here when I started supporting it is David O'Leary. The rest of them ain't here, mate. So why am I going to jump up and down and celebrate and gas up players that ain't going to be here in a couple of years? And you know, oh, let, oh, we've got to give Arteta another go. No, we don't. Yeah, the fact is, this geezer is holding my football club back. So I want him out. The only way to get him out is get battered because the majority of our fans are divs. Yeah, and they'll jump up and down and celebrate irrelevant runs that lead to nothing. So the only way to get him out is get hammered. And if Ramsdale hadn't have had a well at Anfield and just let them all go in, he probably would have been sacked at 8-0. 
my, my, my mindset on wanting my team to lose has changed in the last few months. I was someone that always felt it was wrong. Until when Man United beat Tottenham, I was happy in the, in the winning the game. I was like, yeah, we won. I remember being happy. And then I remember that the sinking feeling I got three days later when Nuno had been sacked and Antonio Conte was coming in and we still had Oli there. And I understand when you just say it out loud, I want my team to lose, it's looked at as wrong because you should want your team to win. But it's yeah. almost a case of if your club was being run right, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't need, have, there would be no necessity to want your club to lose. <clears throat> because if you look, for instance, Bayern Munich are a, a case in point in this. As soon as it starts going wrong with a manager, before things become precarious, before seasons are written off or you're out of title races or you're out of Champions Leagues, they act, they sack, they move, they move on. And I think that fans are almost forced into this tough love approach of wanting their team to lose. And I'll give you a, a, like a, an example. Uh, Leah said it about Man United and was being like land busted. When Man United sacked Oli, you could feel the, like after the, the, the Watford game, I got no sense from any Man United fan, top red or not, of pain or unhappiness by eight o'clock that evening when they knew that he was gone. There was this suddenly there was, there was this excitement. And it's a case of Oli being sacked felt better than the, that, that was a bigger emotional outburst than yeah. again, beat 4-1 by Watford. I actually didn't, that loss suddenly become inconsequential to me. It, it was like, I, finally, he's and gone. I, and I, and I sat there. And, me, and the point is, if we would have acted like a proper club sooner, and I'm not even talking in the Oli era. I'm talking years earlier and built a structure that enabled a conveyor belt managerial approach, which I think you need in the modern day game. We would never have got to that point. So I think yeah. it's I think it's kind of I get I get where Gunner King is coming from. And I used to feel exactly like that. But the last few months, it's a bit like this debate. So I was thinking about this this morning. I was like, Arteta won the Lampard Oli Arteta debate, but <laughs> Arsenal lost it. Yeah. Like yeah. Arteta himself had won the debate. But Arsenal have lost hey, it. This geezer in your chat's doing my Sweden, right? If you don't, it, and he's put about 15 comments in, and all of them he's been chatting absolute bollocks. Yeah, Lee, if you don't hurt when you are when you lose, you're not a real supporter. Well, who made you the supporter police, mate? Yeah, because I've done about a quarter of a million pounds supporting my club over 40 years, mate. How much have you done? Yeah, I was in I was in Osterson, mate. Yeah, was you there? Like... I was in Barte Borisov, mate. Was you there? I paid a grand for that trip. I was at Atleti semi-final. Was you there? Yeah? Do you know what I mean? Shut your mouth, man. Seriously. I look, I look at it this way. Like, I know Twi Twisted. Twisted's actually a Man United fan, to be fair. Well, there you um, go. Was, okay, so, we, so was, he, was, he in, um, was he in Munich at 99 then? Probably not, because he probably won't even form. <laughs> yeah. Do you know uh, I, I would, uh, look, what I, makes somebody a real supporter? What because you because you I, hurt when you lose? I couldn't I, care I, less I, if we I, lose. I when I, I get my football club back. Yeah, then I'll start having an emotional attachment to it again. Until then, I'm numb to it, mate. Yeah, and if you don't like it, tough. Yeah, because the fact and reality is, mate, I've done more of my hard-earned money watching my football club all over the globe, yeah, than the average Joe, mate. So I'll support it and say what I like about it, how I want to. And if people don't like it, that's their issue, man, because I ain't changing. When I get my club back and they start acting like the club that they smashed that stadium down for, then... I'll get emotionally attached to it again. Until then, they can jog on. Uh, Gunner King that here, out for you, mate. Like, Gunner King here says, how did our 10-game unbeaten run lead to nothing? We are four points off top four when you said oh, that you wow. expected us wow. to finish 10th. Wow. Either wow. we have exceeded wow. your expectations. How many points off top are we, mate? Is, yeah, how many points off top are we? What's the, what's the aim of elite-level sport? It ain't to come fourth, is it? Jesus Christ, mate. Hundreds of thousands of people like this, unfortunately. I'm sure he's a nice enough well, lad. I, 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 look, you know, look, look, Gunner, Gunner King's a, real, a, a, a good guy, and it's obviously op opinions on the territory are important. I, I kind of look at it this way. The aim of elite level sport is not to come fourth, it's to come first. No, I, so I, 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 I couldn't I, care I, less. Yeah. That irrelevant run of form, we're currently seventh, right? Seventh. I'm looking at the table right now, right? So, well done. We're four points off of top four. Who cares? Like genuinely, mate, and, and, yeah. and I and I, I totally get that, mate. I, I, I really do. I, I again, and Gunner King, I'm kind of addressing you here on this. I, I was saying this to Arsenal fans for a while. Just wait until the end of this. What I've, I've seen, I happen, mate. I, no, I kind of, I, I get that, and I, I kind of, I've seen sure. it for a little bit this season, and it's across all fan bases. But we're talking about Arsenal today specifically. Mm. It's like you did go on this run, and it put you in a position that was above the expectations. Again, again, not expectations, but above where 
say Lee and Oli and Arteta are out as expected to be. My view was keep your powder dry and wait because two or three results later, and you could be back where those guys pr pr predicted. Equally, how, could... how is it every team apart from Leicester is that's above us is in Europe? I thought Europe was going to help us. No, Europe was going to help us this season. How comes Tottenham and Manu have lost more games than us and they've uh, lost less games than us, but they've both sacked their managers? Yeah. Like, how, how comes we've got a minus goal difference, which, by the way, today marks the 108-year um, mark of the last time we had a minus goal difference. 7th of December, 1913. was the last time we had a minus goal difference at this stage of the season. Wow. Yeah, and guess what? We got relegated that season. Yeah. The top gooners in the chat go, we never got relegated. We've never been relegated. Yeah, do your research, mate. We did. We brought our way back in at the expense of Tottenham. Tell, I 